Hey everybody, how's it going? Boom Slang here. Welcome to my channel. Quick sip of water before we get going here. And um, so this is um, more of that, um, the Philly lot, let's call it, that I picked up last Friday. Um, have not been able to coordinate a pick up for the rest of the carts that he supposedly has. But before we get going into this, I just wanted to go over this real quick. So this uh, was sent to me by um, ABC's Needs 123. And um, what this is, is uh, it's a BCW and it tells you like, uh, I guess your thickness of your top loaders, you know, how many points, 360 points from... 20 points all the way to 360 points. So that's what that is. That was included with my stuff. I asked him, uh, he had extras and he said, yeah, he would send some along. I almost missed this because it was actually turned around backwards in the pack and just had my name on. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, it's, you know, it's just a little header card so that he knew who was getting this package. But before I tossed it, I turned, flipped it over. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember I, it was a couple guys on, in on the auction that asked for these, and uh, he said he would send them because he gets them free from um, BCW. So now let's get into the um, the Philly lot. So this box is not full. It's uh, partial. About uh, not even half full. But let's get into, like, these sleeves. All right, so... <clears throat> Uh, these were just laying loose, not in the binders. And there's Steve Avery. <clears throat> some Bo Jacksons, but Bo's got a wrinkle. Bo's got some creases right there. That's kind of a bummer. <clears throat> but Bo's All-Star card, 1989 All-Star game. Nice. And um, uh, 88 Leaf. Pretty cool. So we got you know, those guys. We got fan favorites. <clears throat> this one's pretty messed up. Let's see if we can get um, get these out of here without destroying them. I don't know what happened here. These cards may be wrecked already. They may have gotten wet. Let's see. Something's going on here. Uh, yep. Uh, it's a little moldy. Little mill dude, so guess what? Bow to the floor. So these uh these here may not be any good. That one looks okay. Looks okay. We'll have to uh check it out. See if we got anything. Eh, it looks doable, you know, it's got a little crease right there. You can see it from just being, I guess, pressed by whatever. So, check this 87 rookie card. This has got some mold on it, looks like. I don't know if it's going to be salvageable. Yeah, it's got got some issues let's put it that way so we'll probably have another one somewhere along the line not too worried about that yeah this whole sleeve is just all jacked up so let's get them out and get them in the trash if that's where they gotta go yeah that one's wrinkled to the floor. Future Stars, 87 tops. That looks okay. And here's an update one. And thank goodness that was in the top. It does have a small crease going along here because the card, the sleeve was setting somewhere and it wasn't flat. This is trash all the way. So hold on while I trash this right now. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so let's take care of that. All right, back to the cards you want. Here we go. Let's see what we can do, shall we? I don't know if this is going to work. If there's anything on the surface, maybe it'll come off and be able to see it. No. So this one's going to be okay. It's going to have some issues, but it is a traded. So, hey, Criterium, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Um, yeah, the bow sleeve is was kind of messed up. That one page got wet or something. But only a couple cards may have been wrecked. This one's got some kind of like the plastic transferred over top of this card. Up close you can really see it. They're, these are not glossies. And you see the glossy finish on this. These are not glossy cards. So it's got whatever happened with that sleeve. The plastic transferred over top. This one. I know we have other ones to replace these. Same thing happened here. See, it's all glossy. Not supposed to be glossy. Same way here. <laughs> Definitely not supposed to be glossy. Hey, but I guess they just became one of ones. eBay, one of ones. Right? There you go. eBay, one of one. Glossy. I'll be like, where'd you get the glossy cards from? It's a secret, man. Secret process. Kind of like uh, the Colonel's secret sauce. That's it. I put the secret sauce. Even this has a glossy finish on it. So, yeah, not supposed to be glossy. Colonel's. All right, so let's get going. Here's the sum at Jay Buner's. How about some Bagwells? Very nice. Jeff Bagwell. More Bagwells. Very nice. More Bagwell. Rookie cards. Bada boom. More Bagwells. Let's see if I got some funk on it, but it didn't carry through to the card, thank goodness. Maybe it was tape. It's, it's like tape residue. Yeah, it's over here too. So these may have been taped up on the wall somewhere. More Bagwells. A lot of Bagwells so far. That's cool. We got an extra one in there. Back to Buner. J. Buners. I don't really care too much about Joel J. He may be a Seattle Mariner fan's uh, favorite. By the way, he was a Yankee. He came up as a New York Yankee. Some Royce Clayton. Don't know much about Royce. But apparently this kid liked Royce. Had hopes and dreams of... Retiring off of those Royce Clayton cards, maybe. I don't know. In his old age. Treating them like they're Babe Ruth cards or something. Um, Ron Gantz. More Steve Avery. Stephen Avery. Front and back. They really loaded this one up. Front, back, and is there some in the middle? No. But still, two two per page. That's a little excessive. Must have been running out of 
pages, so they decided to double up. Oh, here we go, some Kinsecos. Definitely a fan favorite. Very nice. Tops um, bazooka, I guess, bubblegum card. And then you got the starting lineup. That's cool. Don't know where the doll went, but... Or the figurine, sorry, it's a figurine. But it's cool. Very nice. Canseco is definitely a fan favorite. More Kinsecos. Very nice. Double up one time. Uh, some Santos Alomar Jr. This one's all boogered up here. I guess he's sliding that way. He sleeves. Raphael Palmero. Doubled up on these. Oh, yeah. Palmeros. Uh, for some reason, Greg Vaughn's uh, in the picture here. Have no idea. And there's Greg Vaughn's and a Mark Lewis. Out of the blue, Mark Lewis. More Mark Lewis. Okay. He is what he is. Uh, here's Kevin Moss and Craig Crayback. Never seen that Moss card right there. Never seen it. Neato. Very neato. Sandy Alomar. Sandy Alomar with some Kevin Moss action going on here. So we're going to have to pull the Moss. Moss, man. And there's more than one card in these sleeves. So Kevin Moss. I'll go there. Kevin Moss on the back side, too. Here's Moss uh, Prospect card from Fleer. Times two. Moss. And Moss. And that is it. But they've even, they still doubled up on these. Did they not? Yeah, still doubling up. For some reason. Alright, that's uh, Sandy Alomar. More Sandy Alomars. With Roberto there. Rated rookie from 1990. Dunruss. And Scott Erickson and Greg Vaughn. There we go. Roberto Alomars. Very nice. With Sandy. Robbie. Robbie's. More Robbie. There you go. More Robertos. Very nice. Still more Robbie Alomars. How about some Ventura Highway action here? Okay. Ruben Sierra. He's a big guy, big gun. Give you a home run every now and again, I guess. Back to uh, Ventura Highway. How about some um, Sheffield action? Oh, Gary. Very nice. Sheffield again. Sheffield, third time, and that's why you don't put the oversized cards in these. I got a nice crease right along the border there. Hard to see, but it's there. I can see it. It's like right across the, the line there. Ben 
Ventura Highway. Ventura again. Let's double that. Ventura. This one's got the dog eared corner there. Big card and the little pockets. Oh, yeah. Doubled up. Sierra. More Sierra Nevadas. Now, is that on the card or is that on the sleeve? Let's see. It's on the sleeve. It's almost like they were going to make a comment there or something. You know, kids. Uh, we got Neon Dion Sanders. Came up with the Yankees as well. And a couple more Dion's. Schmaltzy. John Schmaltz. And put the big card in the little pocket. Big card in the little sleeve. Very nice. Back to Dion. Rookie with a football uniform on, looks like. I guess it could be a Braves uniform, but I doubt it. Let's talk to the Yankees, so. More Dion. Not doubled up. Back to Smoltz. Hey, Lion Cards Game Day. How's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Smoltz. Kirby action. Not the Kirby like the vacuum. The Kirby like the pocket. And this sleeve is a little dirty, but the cards seem to be okay. But the sleeve is definitely cut. Something on it. Definitely got something on it. Now if it's dust or mold. Guess I'll find out in the middle of the night when I start hacking. There we go. Kirby. Then we have... Pudge Rodriguez with a uh, Sierra mixed in. So we'll pull Ruben out. Put him over there. There's Pudge. More Sheffield action. With a Ruben popper here on the corner. Well, Ruben's sneaking in. Pudge. All the way around. No, nope, no. Nope. Now the Ruben Sierra sneaking in here. Trying to pull a fast one. Getting over on me. Didn't work. Caught you again. That's strike three. You're out, pal. Nothing on the back. Ah, here's Ruben right off the bat. Boom. I told you strike three. You're out, Ruben. What's the heck going on here? Nope. Still didn't get the hint. Still didn't get the hint there. That's five. Kirby. Man of the year. Oops, get this in. This. There he is. Man of the year. Kirby Puckett. Yee-haw. Kirby Puckett's. And the last page is all Mr. Kirby Puckett as well. All right. So that is the sleeves. Now to get to the book. Let me check the comments real quick. Oddball Cards, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. Hey, Jay, how's it going? Thanks, Alex, for posting that. 
Butchie Hawk. How's it going, Butch? Butch, you need to come up with a nice avatar. How are things up in that neck of the woods, Butch? You still living there in uh, East Bangor? Yo, oh, Butchie, let me give you a moderator. There you go, Butchie. See if you, uh, next time you type something, see if you got a blue wrench. All right. All right, back to, uh, Wiping my hands because who knows what kind of mildew I just picked up. All right, guys. Again, thanks for stopping by and hanging out. All right, this box is messed up. All right. I mean, it's like really messed up. And the really messed up part about it is this one whole row looks like it's football cards. And not the good ones either. Like the Pro Set Cheapies. We found him in one of the other boxes. Jimmy Johnson, that exact card. Super Bowl cards, okay. All the way up to Super Bowl. Now, going backwards, that's four, six, nine. All right, so there it is. 24, Super Bowl 24. If you know your Roman numerals. You live in a wind gap? That's cool. Cool. Yeah, we gotta we gotta head up there. Um, by the way, guy Butchie is uh, my cousin. Um, and we gotta get up there. Uh, I gotta see my in laws. My mom. I hadn't seen my mom in, in a little bit, so I need to get up there and, and see how things are going. I know my um, my. Um, in-laws keep asking when we're coming up for the visit. Yeah, these are all football guys. Oh, well. I didn't look in the box. I just opened the lid and said, well, this is a mess. And it looked like 1980 tops in here. So hopefully they're not too boogered up. <clears throat> so, like, if you guys heard me talking um, about the the... Part two of the Philly um, lot. Um, supposedly they're all team sets. I was out in the garage and I was trying to find something to um, do for tomorrow, actually. And um, I was going through all those like 800 count boxes, just popping the lids, looking, seeing what's inside. Because I didn't look inside that before when I picked them up. I looked in some of the bigger boxes and I said I saw those Jeter cards and I'm like, yep, I'm buying it. Well, a lot of them appear to be near complete um, team sets as well. So, yeah. Uh, I was hoping for like mixed um, boxes. There's only a couple mixed boxes. The rest are all like partial team sets, complete team sets. Um, uh, 89 Bowman with the Griffey Jr. card in there. You know, so... Complete sets and nearly complete sets. Some of them have a list of cards that are numbers that are needed to complete it. Others, you just I guess you just got to go through it and do it. So, yeah, um, Butchie, my in-laws they live in um, they live in Wind Gap, up on uh, First Street. Alrighty, this is going to be a tight squeeze. We'll get to them later. And I, 
I don't even want to look at those football cards, to tell you the truth. Uh, trade bait. Football cards. Trade bait. All right, here we go. So they're kind of a little fuzzed up. You can see them. They're not factory condition, but we may be surprised. We may be a little surprised on these 1980 tops. Not a whole bunch. It looked like there was more scattered in the box than what there actually is. Pro set used to send me football and golf promos, stamped cards all the time back in the day. I have, I have in the garage um, from this one, this like 300,000 or 400,000 card lot. Maybe it was 600,000 cards. I bought so many cards um, that I had to fill up my, my, um, um, unlimited Jeep, which is the four door Jeep, the, the back all the way to the canvas top, the back seat all the way to the canvas top, the passenger seat all the way to the canvas top, the floor on the passenger side filled up. And then I had my wife's, um, uh, Kia Sportage, the back hatch area filled all the way to the roof. The back seats were down, and I had that filled all the way up to the back of the seats. And again, the passenger seat was filled up. I was, when I looked at her car after I loaded them up, the Jeep was okay. It had beefier springs, but my car doesn't have beefy springs. And them fenders look at, if you would hit any kind of dip, that they were going to just bottom out on the wheel wells. So, yeah, good times on that lot. Well, anyway, inside that lot were these tubes. Uh, rolls of uncut um, football cards, um, pro set stuff, I think. Um, several of them, I mean, like 10 tubes of, of uh, uncut sheets. Uh, let's see if I can grab this up here. Oy. I don't know if I can reach it, guys. I need a grabber. I need a grabber. Graboids from... Um, that movie where they did the, the, the things were underground and they called them graboids. They come up and grab you, pull you under. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them, to tell you the truth. Hang in there, guys, trying to get it. Got to make, even though I made a little room, I don't have room. If that makes any sense. There's still not enough room. Pull that in. This here. All right. Got to move you. You're gone. Uh. The next sound you hear will be me getting buried alive. Yep. Slight, slight, slight. Okay, then. Oy. All right, here we go. So this is something else that came with them. I just didn't have a tube to put these in. Um, but this is a, like uncut sheets of boxing cards. Not a whole bunch. There's Tommy, Tommy Morrison or... Tommy Gunn from the Rocky movie. Uh, Hector Macho Camacho. Donovan Riddick. I just saw a YouTube video on Donovan Riddick where uh, he fought Mike Tyson and how he was like such a vicious one-punch guy and would just destroy people. Then there's George Foreman. Uh, he doesn't have his grill in the background, but George Foreman. And Burt Sugar. I'm not sure who he was. And then we've got Bruce Seldon. Michael Moore, Sugar Ray Leonard, down here in the corner. Bobby Sees, never heard of him. Roberto Duran, we've all heard of Roberto Duran. And I don't know if the other sleeve is the same or not. No, it's different. So I've never heard of these cards. But Terry Morrison... So it's like all Terry Morrison there. 
Then it's got the back of Terry Morrison's card. Okay. So basically, oh, it says prototype. Look at there. There you go. So the sheet has all Terry Morrison's on it. It's funny. That's my aunt's um, name, Terry Morrison. Pam Morrison, sorry. And then here's uh, the back of those other ones that I have. Okay. So there's the front. Same ones. And there, if that's what the backs look like. It says sample. Yeah, I don't know. It's just boxing. And a whole bunch of football ones came like, no kidding, like 10 or 15 tubes, 20 tubes. I don't know. But anyway, let's get through these. Uh, Mark Wagner. Clayton. Got a little paper loss maybe or something on the corner there. Bruce Suter's Hall of Famer right there. First Hall of Famer. Not your uh, crystal clear photo like you get on Upper Deck and Stadium Clubs. Dave Cash. Ed Whitson. Rick Wise. Mike Hargrove. Tommy Lasorda, manager, Dodgers. Hall of Famer, too. Bob McClure. Ed Figueroa. Roa. Ken Holtzman. Bill North. Dewey Evans. Dwight Evans. Scotty McGregor. Richie Hebner. Ray Fossey. Sixto Lescano. Jim Fergozzi. Stan Bonson. There's old Charlie Huff. Mickey Klutz. Got a little crease going right across the front of his hat there. A little crease. Elliot Maddox. Steve Yeager with dog ear corner. My Keith. Jim Todd with a dog eared corner. Sergio Ferrero. Sounds like a painter. Ferrero. Ferrero. Richie Zisk. Brian Doyle. Richard Tidro. Shouldn't say his first name. The way it's spelled there. Might get in trouble. The censors may get you. All right. Gorman Thomas. Not his rookie. Pedro Bourbon. Bobby Matt Matic Matic. Wasn't there on photo day. Where were you, Bobby? You're the manager. Pete Vukovic. Ben Ogilvy. Joe Ferguson. Bill Verdon, and it's got a little tear up here. Another card with an issue. Mickey Rivers. There's Buck Martinez, Alex. Another Buck Martinez. We'll put him there. He's not. He's a fan favorite, but he's the first one in the fan favorite. Sounds that. Like. Willie Hernandez, Rick Monday, Ted. C. Can't say that last word either. You might get in trouble. Can't say that. The censors will get you. Owachinko. Joel Alexander. Jim Marshall. Pat Corrales. There's Dusty Baker. He's still managing to this day. Dave Garcia. Duffy Dyer. Barry Foote.
Preston Gomez. Kevin Bell. It's actually a pretty sharp looking card. Jerry Mumphrey got might be a little oversized. Yep, that's why it's got smushed on the top. It's a little miscut from the factory. Sparky Lyle. Love Sparky as a Yankee. Bill Lee, the spaceman, right? Many people ask about his. Willie Montanez. I'll go over and check the comments here in a minute. Eric Soderholm, Pat Zachary, Tommy Hutton. He came to um, one of my little like little league banquets, and uh, yeah, I got his autograph at the little league banquet along with uh, another year. Richie Ashburn showed up my last year, so I was about twelve that year. This is my last year playing little league, and I was eleven or twelve. And um, Richie Ashburn was there, and I got him to sign my. Um, you know, when you graduate, you get your little diploma, your little certificate. I got him to sign my certificate, Richie Ashburn. Pretty cool. Reggie Smith. Dan Schatzeder, spelled properly. Bernie Carbo. Can't say his first name. I can, but I shouldn't. Dave Rasich. Rudy May. Alex Trevino. Bob Forsh. Mike Caldwell. Warren Cromarty. John Henry Johnson. Did I get in trouble for saying Johnson? Mm, I don't know. I guess it's all in the context of how you use it. Billy Buckner. Matt Keogh. Dave LaRoche, Benny Ayala, Al Oliver. Oh, Joe Torre, Mets card. Very nice. Small crease, not colored in. Hall of Famer. Tippy Martinez, Dave Roberts, Manny Trio. Got some issues with Manny. Don Robin Hood. Greg has priors. And Steve, the Swisher, should have been playing basketball. Well, he's a Swisher, man. Everything swishes. All right, let me check the chat, and um, then we'll get into the the upper deck that appears to be in there. All right, let's see. Make sure to check it out. Yep, yep. Thanks, Alex, for posting that. Pro set. Yep. Be careful. Yeah, I know. I don't. I didn't fall, but a couple of the. Uh, Starting lineup spell. I have to pick them up, that's all. Tommy Lasso, I did not hear that. Tommy wants to coach again. Good for him. Yeah, that's Buck Martinez's porn stash. Right after baseball, he went into porn. It said it paid better, too. All right. Let's see. Let's get back to um, the box. All caught up on the chat. Got the cards with issues. Uh, Hall of Famers and everyone else. Oi. Yeah, so hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to uh, uh, pick up those complete sets. If you know, depending on what he's going to want for them. So what are these? Uh, I just took my glasses off. These are like ninety-two upper decks. And they're all upside down. So let's just go here, Edgar. I'm not going to. Put the team ones off to the side. I'll just put them in the thing. Checklists. Jim Leyritz. David Wells. Andre Dawson. There's our first Hall of Famer. Coming right at you. The Hawk. 
Dave Steve. Ryan Sandberg. Bad throw. Taking out Rhino. Got to make good throws, guys. No wonder Cubbies can't win. Let me grab my glasses. By the way, I fixed my own glasses. I had a, my doctor's appointment, but they wouldn't let me see the optometrist. It was only there for uh, lab work. So I took my old broken glasses. I had it taped up with uh, electrical tape. And I just swapped them out with my driving glasses, put the reading lenses in there, and voila. Should have done that a long time ago. Instead of suffering through all that. Not being, I haven't fallen off my face all the time. Show. There's Joe Carter. Don't know if it's going to focus on him. There we go. A little bit. In and out real quick. Bobby Bo. Oh, another Carter. Another Carter. Another Bobby Bo. Harold Baines. Hall of Fame Baines. Yep. There's Ozzy. Boom. Strawberry. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Gibson. Two hands on the back, Kurt. Winfield. Very nice. Bell. Jesus Christ. Oh, excuse me. Shucks. How many Doug DeCenzo cards are there here? They just keep coming. Julio Franco. Cecil with the chicken. Chicken say, look, they got you on camera. You better smile. Hirschheiser times two. Eddie Murray. In and out of focus. Yoribe, Tony Fernandez, Alan Trammell, Greenwell, Fig Pen, Robbie Thompson, Einhorn laces out with the Marines right there. Tell, oh, with the Marines right there, Tom laces out. Wasn't Dan's fault. The laces were out. Einhorn just missed it. Butler guy Eddie Gruber. Oh, some Griffey Senior action. Herbeck. Willie Randolph, Eckersley, Hall of Famer. Let me clear up. Okay, all the notifications are coming in. Can he pitch, but he can play first base too. Steve Sachs. Dante Bichette. Like 
third year card. Tom Hankey, Mitch the Wild Thing, Williams, Randy Reddy, Mitch Williams again. Yeah, I don't know if you guys heard this story. I, I know I've told it before. Mitch Williams, after uh, years after um, giving up that home run to Joe Carter, um, challenged, uh, and he was re retired now. Um, he managed a bowling alley in like Mount Laurel, New Jersey, um, and for his father-in-law, right? And he challenged Joe Carter to a bowling match because Mitch thought he was like a 300 baller or something like that. Um, and Joe Carter is like, well, you know, I don't know, I don't know, downplaying a little bit. And uh, turns out Joe Carter is a very good bowler, and he beat Mitch Williams in bowling too. Funny. Sammy Sosa. Swindell effect. Not the Mandela effect. The Swindella effect. As again, George Brett. Yeah, pine tar up on that bat, but it's below the label. I can see the label. It's below the label, so it's a legal bat there, Brett. Lessons learned. Tom Flash Gordon. Wearing outfielder glasses. The flip type. Whitaker. Yeah, this is not going to be that all exciting of a sort, but still got to be done. Parker with the Jays hat on there. Roger the Dodger Clemens. Very nice. Paula Shamer. Plesak Gilkey as charged. It gets old, I know. There's Tino. Oil can, a bow. Bernie. The Bow and Bernie show. There you go. Eric Plunk had to show his face. There he is in the place two times. Roger Clemens on the best right-hand pitcher. Major League Diamond Skills. Yep. With a little artificial assistance. You too. Best left-hander. Uh, best defensive player, Cal Ripken Jr. 
American League. I met Jeff Shaw in my leagues. Got a couple of his autographs on cards. How about this? Sometimes you Chris Gwyn some and sometimes you lose some. If it ever focuses on Chris Gwyn. Ruins my punchline. There we go. Chris Gwyn. Rookie Threats, Brian Jordan, Donovan Osborne, and I don't know who the other one is. Best Base Runner, Marquise Grissom. There's Will Clark. Best Power, Will Clark got Best Power. What, was there no one else playing in the National League? And it won't focus on him. There we go. Uh, I find that a little hard to believe. Best power. And Cal, you need to go over there. Best outfield arm, Van Slyk. There we go. Best hitter, Tony Gwynn. If it focuses, there we go. Tony Gwynn won more than he lost, that's for sure. Tony Gwynn. Hojo for best athlete. Yeah, with some artificial assistance. How about some triple exposure? Eddie Murray. 400 home run club. Very nice. Sammy Sosa. That's our second Sosa card. Right? We had the one where he's in a White Sox uni, right? So one was a high number, one was a low number. Or am I just making things up right now? There he is. Boom. Low number, high number. Ooh, ooh, I got it. Yep. Not very low. 438 is not low. But it's lower than 723. So there you have it. Eddie Murray again. Nice. George Bell Sosa again. box they'll cooperate one more and that's a checklist card all right I guess we're not going to go through those football cards checklist Jeffries. We're not going to spend a whole lot of time on them. Star rookies. Derek Bell. Ted Wood. Patrick Lennon. Willie Banks. Donald Harris. Rob Maurer. Uh, prospects. Halbowitz. Rondell White. Raul Mundesi. People are going nuts over that card. Jeremy Burnett's. There you go. Prospect. People like this card, too. This Jim Abbott. Uh, if you can't understand this, you can't understand this. Be cool. Stay in school. Very nice. Bob Wickman. Ah, my nemesis and his, his bigger brother. 
really bigger brother. He's like head and shoulders above his brother, or at least a head anyway. And his brother's got a huge head. But who am I? Carlos Rodriguez. There's some brothers too. Not quite as tall, but only half a head taller. The Gwyns. Nice. The Ripkins. Nice. Cousins. Gary Sheffield and Doc Gooden. Brothers and Mitchells. Alomars. Ricky. Kevin Moss, of all people to put. You got Bernie Williams on your checklist. You got Alvaro Espinosa. You could have put Espinosa on there, right? But apparently, no one else was better than. You've had Eric Plunk was on the team. Eric Plunk could have been on his checklist, not Kevin Moss. They had so many, like, awesome. Don Mattingly. I mean, now, that's awesome player. But if you go back to the to the uh, Plunks and the um, Espinosas, you know, and the Mosses. I mean, you, you had Mattingly and Williams to choose from, and you chose the Moss. Same way with Swindell. You choose Swindell over whoever else was on here. I wonder how much they paid him. To get the team picture on the team checklist. Jeff Innes. Scott Brosius. Turned about turned out to be a good pickup for the Yankees years later. Sosa. Terry Bross, I met him. He played uh, on the Las Vegas Stars. These guys move around quite a bit in the minor leagues, at least from what I see. They, like I got pictures of them on the Mets cards when they're actually playing with the Padres. There's Bonds, most exciting player. Barry Bonds. Hall of Shame. Winfield really pulling in his hands to get to an inside pitch. Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Winfield, Morris. Steve Sachs. Eddie Murray. Brum -brum. See my hanging with an apple. All right, this is the last right here, last of them. Fuzz on the cards. Fuzzy cards. Bobby Bo. Eddie Murray. Talbin C. Swindell. There's Carter. Gary Carter, that is. Hall of Fame. Carter again. Keep getting him off the screen. Archie Sinfraco, Chad Curtis, Donovan Osborne, Mark Clark, Pat Mahomes, Sr., or at least like the second, I don't know, the first. I don't know if his kid's a junior or if he's a second or third. Uh, I think I got his autograph. Not Mahomes. Never met Mahomes.
Turk Wendell. And that's it, guys. That's it for um, all the fun tonight. We went over the uh, the pages, not the binder. There's two binders out in the garage. Um, definitely a lot of nice cards here. They'll be coming out and going into their respective um, boxes by team, not teams, but by manufacturer and stuff like that. So I'll be spending the rest of the night doing that. But um, hopefully tomorrow I'll have uh, news of the, uh, the Fully Lot Part 2. And see what we get there. Maybe I'll even go live uh, uh, after I get it all out of the guy's house and into the car. We can just do a live, quick live one. How's everyone doing tonight? Hey, Tex Hockey. Uh, everyone's fine. Everyone's great. Um, we just went through. Um, yeah, thanks, Criterion Racer. You too. Have a good night. So I want to thank, first off, everyone that, that came in here tonight and hung out. Criterion Racer, Texas Hockey, Jay's Mix. Dirk Remington. Oh, you are, uh, Dirk. That's cool. We're going to check out someone's uh, collection tomorrow. I'm a bad influence. Yes, I am. Uh, let's see. Who else was here? Oh, my cousin was here. Butchie. Butchie Hauk was here tonight. Um, my, my oddball Cards was here. Don't know if he's still here or not. Uh, la, 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 la. And Lion Cards Game Day. So, guys, don't forget to check out every, each other's channels. Sub everyone up. And, um, yeah, any other further questions or comments? So, um, Dirk, how big is this collection that you're going to go look at? You know, you have an idea that they give you, like, a, a number or anything like that, like cards. Is there any open uh, unopened wax? Or is it just, you know... Loose cards. These are unseen, so I don't know the ones I'm going to see if they're factory sealed sets or they're just hand collated sets, like what I was getting uh, that's out in the garage right now. So. Any other questions, comments? Bitches, gripes, moans, groans, complaints. Everyone's happy. Tomorrow's Friday. Weekend's almost here, right? Woohoo! Weekend's almost here. We can go flea marketing, yard sailing, um, or just relax at home and cut the grass, whatever. Open cards. There's all kinds of options there for us. <clears throat> and okay um, no one has anything else to say or comment then i want to thank you alex for posting that link to my 1000 subscriber giveaway guys check it out make sure you subscribe you do all the things required to um enter and um yeah we get to a thousand thousand plus because uh, i've I always flux up and down because I think there's bots that come in here and sub up and try to get me to go sub to them. And um, then all of a sudden they drop off after a couple of days. So right now my top was at 850 until a couple hours ago. Uh, then it dropped down to 849, but it is what it is. Yeah, I know. It is what it is. A lot of guys should be uh, at a 1,000 by now. You know what I mean? How hard is it? There's there's at least 70,000 people out there, right? Look at uh, look at um, John Jabs. Uh, not John. Uh, uh, Eric. Jabs family. <clears throat> Got like 70,000. You know? So we know there's like 70,000 people out there that kind of enjoy this. I don't know. But it is what it is. I did pick up two new subscribers um, in the last couple of days. Let's see. I give them a quick shout out here if I can find them again. <clears throat> oh, 
John, I didn't see you getting, I need to get a notice for Past is Alive, guys. I want to head over there and check out John's video. So, he bought a collection, looks like John bought a collection for 300 bucks. He just posted a video on 38 minutes ago, so. Um, we'll head over there and we'll do that. What you doing? Oh, oh. still videoing? Yeah. Oh. Thought you were done because you're sitting. No, I'm going through, checking out what other people are doing. Um, so guys, I'm going to head over. I'm going to head over to John's. There's what I'm doing. You can open up more than one page. They hide um, the small channels, I think. Well, yeah, so it has to do with how well you put your little, um, I forget what they call them now, but you got to really uh, do some stuff to really get your channel out there. And I've been working at it hard. So, you know, yeah, mama's in and out. She's in and out, gone already. What truth? Hey, how's it going? Um, let me see. What truth? There you go. You should be the second one to get moderator today. I look like I'm only I'm limited to two a day. So I gave you moderator now. He has lots of boxes for all for three hundred bucks. Oh, that was the uh, John Japs thingy. No, he bought. A collection for 300 bucks, yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're, we're like an hour and seven minutes in. Let's see, is that justice, truth, or a different one? Yeah, John. so John's live, or has he got a recording? I'm going to head over there, guys. Let's head on over there and... Show some love to John. You know what I mean? He's a good guy. All right, guys. Let's head on over there. Thanks a lot for coming in, hanging out. And, you know, tomorrow's another day. We'll put up some more stuff. We'll watch some stuff. And who knows? Maybe we'll find something really good. John Jabs. The past is alive. J-O-N. All right, guys. <clears throat> Check you later. Good night, guys.